And we start in Washington with opening statements in President Trump's impeachment trial. Over the next three days, the Senate will be hearing formal arguments from the Democratic House managers. ABC's Rachel Martin is on Capitol Hill this afternoon with our top story at five. Fresh off a nearly 13-hour, at times, heated debate, the Democratic managers return to the Senate chamber with their evidence in hand, opening their case against the president. The president was the key player in the scheme. He personally asked the foreign government to investigate his opponent. These facts are not in dispute. Democrats say the evidence is clear. The president abused his power and obstructed Congress and still insists there is more to uncover. But their repeated attempts to subpoena witnesses and documents before today's opening statements failed. The amendment is tabled. The amendment is tabled. The amendment is tabled. That pivotal question over witnesses punted until both sides complete their opening statements. I don't know how you have a serious trial without hearing from witnesses, without getting all of the documents. I want this to end up in a fair trial, fair trial with a verdict. And I think the big dynamic we've been missing so far has been we haven't heard anything from the defense. Democrats are holding out hope that four Republican senators will vote across party lines to meet the simple majority threshold needed to subpoena witnesses. But other key Republicans already have their mind made up. They don't care what they destroy in the process of trying to destroy Donald Trump. I do care. So to my Democratic colleagues, you can say what you want about me, but I'm covering up nothing. As the trial unfolds, President Trump, 4,000 miles away in Davos, had impeachment on his mind, telling reporters he can do with or without witnesses. I can live either way. And all eyes will be on a group of moderate senators who have already proven to have some power in how this impeachment trial plays out. Republican Senator Susan Collins pushed for changes to allow existing evidence to be admitted, and the rules were revised. Rachel Scott, ABC News, Capitol Hill.